I don't think you go. I, you gonna paint? Just just be calm. This just don't get don't overdo it during the day. Cause you no. can't work for two weeks, can you? Oh no. No, he's, well, gonna, he's gonna be work the anyway. worst person to ever have surgery. What are you doing? We're, we're live, y'all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I'm, I don't know what I, I mean. I'm not going to do anything. I've got him to throw my muscle. Was he going there and throw the patients around? I'm, 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 I'm out of here. I'm not doing that. Oh, anymore. you're not even, you're not working. No. You just ain't moving. I'm yet. done. No, he bought me out. Is it done? Yeah. Well, it's, it's in the process, but I'm done. Okay. No. So you, that's why you dress like yeah. that? Yeah. He's taking a personal day. Yeah. I don't have any personal days. I work harder than ever. Hello, Michael Clark. All right. Miranda. Got All right, let's do it here. The day we get to study Torah for the sake of heaven, for the sake of Israel and all Jerusalem. Um, we like to give the merit of our Torah and the merit of our study too. Stephen King, Abraham ben Moshe Gila, Jason Shelton, Linda Flora, Hannah and Samantha Hong, <coughs> Phoebe Bridges, <coughs> Raymond Rosentrader, David Fay, Paul Navaris, Garrett Matledge, pa uh, Stacy Matledge, Paces of Texas Oncology, Rita Wilson, Betty McCuskey, Low Love Daughter, Justin Lakeisha Neal, Berea Wanstaff, Sylvia R. Vizu, Nadine Freeman, Albert Bear, Billy Hope, Darlene Younce, Luke Sutherland, Casey Grubb, uh, Noel Cardoza, David Douglas, Vicki McLean, Tom and Karen Maitland, Carol Tickle, Larry Langberry, Juliet Navarez, Blake Hyland, Lila Briscoe, Sam Peake, Yehuda Ben Matai, Leah, David Jenkins, Jake Suarez, Jimmy and Joyce Rogers, Sally Tyler Montez, the Rogers family, Damia Washington, Carol Scott and family, Rabbi Richmond, Maurice Greenwood, Gracie Bell Linder, Brett Richardson, Brandy Boots, Amanda Elliott, Benson Ewing, Carol's family, Baby Denard, Michelle Magnuson, and family, uh, Jenna Marie, Kimberly Brown, Debbie January, Sandra Hearth, Elvia Rosas, Shelby Williams, Jerry Matledge, Dylan Tickle, Amber Merchant, uh, Terry Thomas, Celinda Sheffields, Louise Gutierrez and family, Aaron Price, Jazri Carroll, Chad Jefferson, Shirley Mayers, Dakota Miller, Jerry Gregory, uh, John Scott, Dixie Pring, Lindsey Welch, uh, and Brandon's family, uh, Debbie Henson, Rachel James, <coughs> Anita Jones, Jessica Ross, Carrie Knight, Salvador Gutierrez and family, Jacob and Simka, Max Wagner, son of Marcy Wagner, Elliot Matledge, Mark Matledge, Emily Batova, Jackie Cup, Nadine Bot Miriam, Carla Manzanares, Beth Carlin, Alton Tillman, Brian McComas, Sarah Bot Sarah, Dakota Miller. Ruler of the universe and master of all masters, Father of mercy and forgiveness, we thank you, our God and the God of our fathers, by bowing down and kneeling that you brought us closer to your Torah and your holy work, and that you enable us to take part in the secrets of your holy Torah. How worthy are we? that you grant us with such a big favor. That is the reason we plead before you that you will forgive and acquit all of our sins and they should not bring separation between you and us. May it be your will before you, our God and the God of our fathers, that you will awaken, prepare our hearts to love and revere you. May you listen to our utterances and open our closed heart to the hidden studies of your Torah. And may our study be pleasant before your place of honor as aroma of sweet incense. And may you emanate to us light from the source of our soul to all of our being. And may the sparks of your holy servants through which you revealed your wisdom to the world shine. And may their merit and the merit of their fathers and the merit of their Torah and holiness support us so we shall not stumble through our study. And by their merit and lighten our eyes in our learning as stated by King David, the sweet singer of Israel, open my eyes so that I will see wonders from your Torah. Because from his mouth, God gives wisdom and understanding. May the utterance of my mouth and the <coughs> thoughts of my heart find favor before you, God, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. It is good to be back. Um, uh, the, the, the thing about the, the thing about being gone for a week in Torah is you feel like you're, you've gone forever. You know, you miss one week, you're just like, man, what am I going to do? I haven't stayed Torah in a week. I haven't taught a class in a week. It's just, and I was so glad to get back in the swing of things. Uh, with Rabbi Bax and with Rabbi Cass, it just, it's just, it's just a part of me now. But um, next week we're going to have it's Purim, so we're going to have a Purim class. We're going to do it Wednesday. We'll do it live here. I'm having a little <laughs> surgery on on uh, Tuesday, but I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. I'll eat some hydrocodone and drink some rum, and I'll be just fine. <laughs> well, yeah. That's taking Purim to the next level. Yeah, we'll take Purim all the way to the next level. <laughs> and so um, uh, 
get you some wine and and uh, um, join us and join us as, as as I read the Megillah. We'll 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 drink and and you can you can do it as we go. So uh, we'll we'll set the camera up far back there. Um, today is Jesus class five or six five five Jesus class five. And, uh, but we're, we're, we're in the time of, I want to talk a little bit about being in the, in the time of spirituality that we're in, because whatever's going on in the, in, in the upper worlds is in the lower worlds that everything's running parallel. So if it's perm here, it's perm there, or if it's perm there, it's perm here. Right. And so if, if there is a, a, if there's anti-Semitism going on here, it's because something's happening up there. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so what happens at this time every year that we know we're in Netzach and Hode, and this is a time where we're getting into Netzach, right? But mm -hmm. this is it, everything has everything deals with a face of God. So let me explain a little bit uh, on the Peshat level about the face or faces of God. All right, the face or faces of God we know is Metatron. Moses, Sarha, Panim. Panim means face. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you have the Ian Sof, when the Ian Sof turns itself inside out, let's not use the backside or the other side. Let's use inside out. Okay? Because it's way more correct. So if if the Ian Sof turns itself inside <coughs> out and it makes the or Ian Sof, that's it, that's the face of the Ian Sof. Okay? So when the or Ian Sof turns itself inside out, that's Adam Kadmon. That is the face of the or Ian Sof. So if Adam Kadmon turns itself inside out, that's Adam Harishon. If Adam Harishon turns itself, or which is Israel, so when Adam Harishon, i.e. Israel, turns itself inside out, that's the 70 nations. It's all connected. And the 70 nations are the furthest away from the face. So here's what happens. If the anti-Semitism, Jew hatred, Purim, Hitler, Haman, mm -hmm. all these different things that happen this time of the year is due to to a thing called Esther. We read the Megillah Esther. Esther means conceal. Conceal what? Conceal the face of God. So as soon as God turns his face the other way, there's no, let's just call it light. Therefore, the parasite attacks the host. Gimme, 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 gimme. And it comes out as anti-Semitism. All right. Now, if you if you have a, a Torah, uh, this is a little prelude to Esther. <coughs> Deuteronomy, chapter thirty-one. And if you uh, start at chapter fifteen, it says Hashem appeared in the tent in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood. There's your sowed beside the entrance of the tent. That's her you sowed. Chapter, uh, verse 16. Hashem said to Moses, if you, if you count from Moshe, from the, from the hay, 49, 49 letters, it spells the word Hashoah which is the word Holocaust. It's encrypted, and 49 is Gematria Metatron, which is the face of God. Okay? Now, if, if you're behold, you will lie with your forefathers, and this people will rise up, and they will stray after other gods of foreign gods of, of the land, in whose midst it is coming. And it will forsake me and annul my covenant that I have sealed with it. My anger will flare up against it on that day, and I will forsake them. I will conceal my face. That word conceal there is Esther. 
I will conceal my face from them and they will become prey. It's called anti-Semitism. And many evils and distresses will encounter it. It will say on that day, it is not because my God is in my midst and these evils have come up, but I will surely have concealed my face, as stir my face on that day because of all the evil that it did. For it has turned to other gods, to, to gods of others. So now write this song for yourself and teach it to the children of Israel. Place it in their mouth so that this song shall be a witness against the children of Israel. And that piece right there is encoded uh, uh, the word Holocaust in Hebrew, Hashoah. Okay? So, uh, every five letters, 49 spaces. So, we are at, the, we are at a time where God's face is, and Zah's face, Adam's face, is being concealed. Mm -hmm. The only way to reveal something is to conceal, conceal it. What happens when, when it's revealed, when Adam wakes up? <coughs> boom, boom, boom. So what do we have? We, we have non-Torah Jews, 77% of American Jewry mm -hmm. vote for the Democratic Party. The very party that is now inciting anti-Semitism upon them, and it's going to get very bad. Why? They don't do Torah. They're bringing it on themselves. Mm -hmm. It's right here in Deuteronomy. You can read it for yourself. Okay? Mm -hmm. What's going on over there in Israel right now? Right now, they're shooting rockets at Tel Aviv, right? But from Gaza Strip. What is going on in UK right now? If you're a Jew in the, in the United Kingdom, in Europe, you probably ought to get the hell out, you know, mm. or, or you will die. Why? This is God, this is Adam waking up. Adam wakes up, what does he do? He's drawing himself back together. He's been fractaled out to the nations, the only way to do it is to set up a system to where if Torah is not done, it drives himself back. It's the most ingenious thing God has ever come up with. You see? Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, forces, it forces Torah. It's a fail-safe mechanism. Is anti-Semitism bad? It's horrific. Is it the very thing that they bring upon themselves? Absolutely. Every Jew could have left Europe and, and gone to Israel and resettled Israel and built Israel. Nobody was there. They'd had a temple mount. Boom, pop, it would have been over. But no, they wouldn't leave, so Hitler killed them all. All right? Out, for every in, there's an out. For every in, there's an out. So what's happening right now is because it's the pulse of the Ian Sof that's happening right now. It's happening above and below in every part of the world at the same time. You can't get around it. That's why if something's, good, if something's bad's going to happen, it's always going to happen on the 9th of all, right? It's just the way it works, okay? So anyway, I, I just wanted to kind of uh, wrap a little uh, the pulse of the day, the politics of the day of what's going on and with the times and the seasons. Don't, don't be uh, uh, shocked of what's going on because it's Purim, you know? Mm -hmm. Yay. All right. And Purim goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Yay. All right. So don't be shocked that it's this time of the year. So let's get in to a little bit of Yeshu Anotri. Now, you know, as in the previous Yeshu classes, in every anytime we say Yeshu, you can plug Esau right in there. Okay. Esau and Yeshu are not divorced from each other. They are the same thing. And you don't even have to think of it as the Jesus of the Bible. You can. You pick a Jesus, like Ricky Bobby. Pick eight pound, 10 ounce baby Jesus. Pick old Jesus. Pick big Jesus. I don't care. It doesn't matter if it's Jesus of the Bible or the Jesus 100 years later, if it was the thief or if it was the, 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 the rabbi. It, it doesn't matter which Jesus it is. It is... The, the 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 backside of fallen out Metatron is your sowed as we have learned, mm -hmm. correct? That's why he is called the rock. And the the Yesod, the rock, the foundation stone, the Evan Shti over there is the front side. Got a front side rock, got a backside rock. Okay? 
That's why Jesus is called their rock. And we're going to get into that a little bit today too. So if we, if we have some time, I got a, a really cool gear piece. I want to, I want to go in Isaiah just, just to, just to talk about, um, I put on the board on, on my, on my gear Kabbalah page, uh, I'm, everybody's been trying to tell me what Gare is not, and they've been trying to tell me what Gare is. So, um, so you, 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 you can't tell what this side is unless you first define the front side, right? So if you can't tell me what a Jew is, don't tell me what a Gare is or is not, you know? Well, Rambam says that, well, no, no Gare shop. Well, what does the Ravad say? Well, what does the Ramban say? Well, what does Rob Bali say? Well, what does the Re say? Well, what does the Gona Vilna say? All right, they, they, they pick one because it's the only one they know. All right, so I don't buy that, A, because they don't know the other ones. B, they don't even know what they are, okay? So what is a Jew? What is the definition of a Jew? Is a Kohen a Jew? Is a Levite a Jew? Is, a, is an Israelite a Jew? Is a convert a Jew? Is a mamzer a Jew? You know, if you say yes to all of the above, that's fine. Guess what? Look how many levels I just showed you there are of Jews. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say to me there's only one of Ger? Oh, that's only Ger Tzedek. Really? I just showed you five levels of, of, of Jew. Well, are, are, are you a Jew in America? Are you a Jew in, in Israel? Are you... Is you are Jews only in Israel, or are there Jews everywhere? Oh, well, Ger Toshav is only in Israel. Oh, well, then there's Jews only in Israel. There's no Jews anywhere else, because Ger Toshav is a righteous non-Jew that dwells with a, that that dwells with a Jew. Mm -hmm. So there's only Jews in Israel. Then, well, what what then? Now, if we're talking about Israel, define Israel. Is Israel just a place where Jews live? Is there Christians there? Is there Muslims there? Is it a melting pot? What is Israel? You can't define Israel. Why? There's no temple. Is, is it holy? No, it's not holy. There's no temple. Is it righteous? Absolutely. Are there holy things going on? That depends. Holy means can you raise somebody from the dead so there's no holy men left? All right. So if quit trying to define what, what I am, and what a non-Jew is in Torah, if does a Jew does a Jew have to study Torah? If you're a Jew, are you a Torah person? No. So basically, a person whose mother is a Jew, whatever that means, is a Jew. They don't have to be in Torah. They don't. So, in other words, there's a pleroma. There's a spectrum of things called a Jew. The land of Israel is a spectrum of, of in and of itself. Is it a kingdom? Is it the Malchut? You know, it, what is it a is, is it a beautiful place? Is it the land of milk and honey? You know, it, I've been to I've been to place over there. It's awful. Mm -hmm. I've been to some place over there. It's the most beautiful place you've ever seen. So, is it beautiful? Is it ugly? What is it? You know. Same thing with gear. It is a spectrum of things. All right? Christians are the same way. There is a spectrum of Christians. All right? So if anybody tries to tell you this is what it is or this is what it isn't, don't listen to them. You know? I mean, you can listen to their opinion, but they don't know. Because nobody knows what it is till Mashiach gets here ultimately, right? All right, so Megillah 13 in the Talmud. Megillah comes from Megillah Esther. So here's what, here's what was happening. There is a piece in there, and it was quoted several times on my page. Um, this is the piece that all of the Africans in Northern Africa that thinks they are, think they are Jewish, this is what they quote. They're, they're all over the Internet. No, we're Jews, we're Jews, we're Jews. Well, I've learned a Talmud, and, and to be a Jew, you have to have several things. You have to, you have, to have a thing called mishpat, okay? It's, it's baked in, circumcision, mikvah, and korban agir, all right? That's why 
and there's no temple, so you can't have Corbin to Gare. Though That's what a Jew has to have to be qualified as a Jew. Now, if he's a Jewish Jewish mother, that's descendant from Sinai. They're, they're not grafted in. They're in, right? But the Megillah says, because Megillah Esther at Purim, during this time after Haman and everybody was hanged, um, Mordecai, they were going around. They were, they, every person knew that the Jews were fixing to kill everybody. It's called Gog and Magog, okay? They knew it was fixing to be the end. So what did they do? Everybody started to convert. They and they and so what does it say? If you say, if you renounce idolatry, and you say there's only one God, you're called a Yehudi. And and so what has it been for two thousand years? That's a Jew. Well, guess what? Islam believes that. Is Islam a Jew? So they have made an entire religion in Africa. They all think they're Jews off that one piece. <clears throat> off that one piece of Torah. So, if you don't know the whole sugia, don't, you know, don't quote Rambam to me and tell me I'm an Evid Kanani when I'm not a Canaanite slave, which is what mm -hmm. Rambam is talking about. You know, I've never... I don't never been a slave. Don't know what any. Don't know what a Canaanite is. You know, no, there is no Evid Kanani today. I will give you that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not that. I'm not an Akum. I'm not a Nokri, and I'm not a Shitu. So now, what are we going to do? So anyway, that's a little bit of my rant. But that's what's going on in the in in the world of the Gear. So here we go. Jesus, <coughs> Esau. Who would have ever thought? that their armament, called vessels of fire, their weaponry of war, that Ishmael has, came from Edom. So everything Ishmael has comes from Esau, Edom. In part time, Ishmael only used bows and arrows, and a little with the sword. The Talmud says, that they follow the customs of their forefathers. But after came with them the children of Adam, of Esau, came with them firearms. What comes from, the, this is because this comes from the most powerful Guvarot. This man is writing this some 350 years ago about firearms. Think about that. Mm -hmm. And what he's saying here is, well, this is Ravali. What he's saying here is all of all the Ishmaelites, all the Muslims, if it wasn't for US and and Russia and UK, all the Edomites, they would still have camels. They'd be driving camels every day because they and they don't change. You know? There wouldn't be Saudi Arabia, there wouldn't be Dubai if it wasn't for us. Because without our weaponry of war, they are camel herders. That's it, okay? That's because the Guvarot comes from the Edom of Esau, the red, the destruction. And it comes to look at gunpowder, which is black dust, which they direct with their firearms because the black powder is the sowed of darkness. And it ignites, and this is the fire that lights up, and it burns it up. This is the secret of the three klepa of the Noga before the Hashmal written about in Ezekiel. It went from the north, a great cloud, a flashing fire, and the Noga surrounded it. Not only is Ezekiel talking about the levels you have to get, you go through the Klippa to get to Kedusha. This <coughs> is what weapons are all about. A rifle, a firearm, R, is a 3D version of the Klippa of Ezekiel. Completely. And the glow that happens when you shoot, that's a Noga. 
And from from within was a, a, a semblance of Hashmal. And then uh, and then Adam has the four faces. <coughs> and this is the secret of their klipa. What what allows Esau to keep the klipa is we got guns. Which is the three D representation of the klipa. Hmm. The bullet itself that is made from the stone or lead that comes out of it and will strike with great force that is greater than the force of the ignition of the powder itself. This is the secret of the force that causes the stormy wind that comes from the north and the, and the Noga Lasabi, the fourth klipa surrounding it. This is the secret of the explosion itself which is like the appearance of lightning. See how he's taking... How, so how's that connecting with Hashemal? The gun is it, 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 in, in 3D. Hold on, hold, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. It, it, it'll go through it. What he's, what he's explaining right now is Ezekiel's vision. He's using Esau's weaponry of war. It's the 3D model. A gun is that. That's it's the 3D model of that. that. Right, gotcha. Front side, going into the, going into the Pardes. Yeah, but front side or inside out. In, inside, inside out, out. <laughs> inside out. It's destruction that that keeps the cleaver strong. How does America protect <coughs> itself? We we'll shoot guns. your ass. Period. Right. Yeah. How do we take over countries? We'll kill you. All right. This is what this is what saves. This is what keeps the cleaver strong. This is the sword of the explosion itself, which is like the appearance of lightning. It goes out of the gun. The secret, the sword of cannons and bombs. The cannon is the male yesod. Because it is the male, it is from the side of the citra acra. And it is the literal likeness of yesod as it appears as a cannon. The wheels that are used, they are the testicles that bond to your sowed, <coughs> which is Netzach and Hod. The female, the bond is the yesod of the female from that side. The fire and the explosion that destroys everything is the secret of the Citra Acre, what it is designed to do on a very large level. So literally, our weapons of war is the force of the Citra Acre, the power of the other side. And this is in the is Isavians, and it is and it is the Isavians that create these things. Ishmael and Islam have nothing without Adam, for they do not know the ways. The Gona Vilna says, the Gras says, the three klipas that Israel goes through are Esau, Ishmael, anybody want to guess the third one? And the heir of Ra. Mm. The heir of Ra is the worst klipa of all, because they unite Esau and Ishmael. The Gaon of Vilna. You think about that statement right there. What brings U.S. and Saudi Arabia together? BB, Netanyahu, Air Ra, baby. Why? Why is he Air Ra? Because if he wasn't, he would kick everybody out of there and, and he would clean everything up and he it would be Torah. They would push down the damn dome of the rock, you know. Mm -hmm. King David would, Moses would, Jeremiah would, Daniel would. Pick a Torah person. They would all do it. Elijah would, you know. Solomon would. They wouldn't put up with any of that. But the political class in Israel will. And they are the ones that unite Esau and Ishmael against them. 
Ishmael became an archer. And even as he grew with his cruelty, his cruelty grew with him. And he became a master of the archers and a a dweller in Paran. Um, There's a Torah piece I was reading earlier that when God tells them about giving the Torah, he says that he offered it in Edom and he offered it in Paran and nobody took it, so he gave it to the children of Israel. That's he gave it to he gave it to Esau and he gave it to Ishmael. So <laughs> Rabbi Ishmael says, throw a stick in the air and it will fall to the ground. That is uh that's Rabbi Ishmael's talking about Ishmael. You throw a stick in the ground, it'll come to the ground. But it was Edom, the Edomite, that created these weapons. This is Edom's nature to create these things to advance Ishmael. Because Ishmael is primitive. The answer for the doctrine of the nations of the world is eternal. Unless you have Yeshua. Regarding the matter of the fools and the stupid ones of the world that God that God demands from the sinner eternal retribution. What he's saying here is the stupid ones and the fools of the world think God demands a, a, a eternal hell, eternal retribution. Behold, the answers for their foolishness has three aspects. Number one, it is illogical to impose eternal retribution for a temporary sin. Doesn't make sense. Number two, turns out that Hashem created the world to cause pain and damage to his creatures and not for their benefit because of the majority of sins. Because the verse says the world is built on Hesed. This is ridiculous. So what he's saying here, it's if you say that, you're saying that Hashem, who is built the world on Hesed, on loving kindness, created this world to torture you in hell forever? That's ridiculous. He wouldn't do such a thing. And the Torah, and in the Torah it says, and he saw it, and it was very good. Why would it be very good if he was going to use it to to send you to eternal damnation? If it was true, according to their logic, it would have been very bad and not good at all. That's the second explanation. The third explanation. This would be a terrible thing for for the master of everything and and for it to be that he created the Yitzhahara and put it into man, then demanded eternity from man when it was Hashem that did it. So Hashem created created the earth, he created the Yitzhahara, Mm -hmm. he put it on the earth, and then he put man on the earth, and he did it to, to test man and to make man sin so that he could... Uh, condemn man for eternal life. Doesn't make sense. He he wouldn't do something like that, correct? This is the matter of the verse. Not forever will I battle <coughs> with the world because the Spirit will go before me with the souls that I have made. This means that part of the soul that sin comes from comes before me and it comes from the Klippa Noga. And it stands before me and before holiness. And it can go either way. And the Yitzhahara is drawn from it. So this is Isaiah. Uh, what he's saying is, the sin is only atta- of the soul is really only attached to the noga of the soul. Why? Well, because the soul comes from him. It can't attach to it. 
-hmm. So if it did attach to him, then God's going to put a part of himself in a, in a place for eternal damnation. No. So it's an oscillating thing like all no good. Right. All right. And now you can choose to cleave to Kedusha or cleave to sin. It's your own choice. Mm -hmm. But he's not forcing you to do anything. Matter of fact, he gave you the, the, the way out, the instruction, right? Isaiah 57. Which is past 53. Because it's 53 is Jesus. Now he's over here. He's over here at 57 saying, no, you don't need Jesus because in verse 57, I got it fixed anyway. 57, 16. For not forever will I contend, nor will be I eternally wrathful. When the spirit that envelops them is for me, and I made their souls. What does it mean? It it, it means there's, there's no eternal damnation. And what is the word made? What is, what is that word, Russell? Made. made. Cr created. Formation. Made. What does the word made mean in here? The word made in here is a sea. This only takes place in the place that I made in a sea. Mm. It doesn't exist anywhere else. That's why Solomon does what he wants to do. He's not doing it here. Right? Though it doesn't apply to him. It only applies here. In addition, the very souls come from Berea and they descend to Asia, where evil is and sin is, and it runs after him on this level. Thus, the souls I made is in Asia. Now, um, this is right in right in here. We started talking about um, the secret of, secrets of the rapture and stuff like that. I've taught it in here before, but this is where we. This is where I was in this piece, and I said, uh, Rabbi Baxt, I want to look at a piece that is very dear to my heart, and it's uh, Isaiah fifty six. Thus says Hashem: Observe justice and perform righteousness. For my salvation is soon to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Praiseworthy is the man who does this and the person who grasps it tightly, who guards the Shabbat against desecrating it and guards his hands against doing evil. That's a pretty simple thing. Mm -hmm. Let not the foreigner who has joined himself to Hashem speak, saying Hashem will early separate me from his people. Now, the Rashi says, oh, this is the converts. Of course, Rashi doesn't say it's the converts. He says this is Mit Gair to become Gair, right? Mm -hmm. It is all of the art scroll commentaries that translate Mit Gair as converts. No such thing as a convert. It's to become Gair. This is also Nelva attaching to itself. This is what the Gair does from the outside. A convert, a Gerzedek is not on that. It's on the other side, right? So, let not the foreigner who has joined him speak to me, saying, I utterly separate myself. <coughs> let not the barren one, behold, say, I'm a shriveled tree. For thus says Hashem to the barren ones, who observe my Sabbaths. Hmm. And who choose what I desire, to grasp my covenant tightly. In my house, within my walls, I've given them a place of honor and renown, which is better than sons and daughters. Eternal renown, eternal renown, I give them, which is never be, which will never be terminated. And the foreigners who join themselves to Hashem to serve Him and love the name of Hashem and become servants unto Him, uh, all who guard the Sabbath against desecration and grasp My covenant tightly. He's not talking about Jews here. He's talking about Yehudi, which is what we are. I will bring them to the holy mountain, and I will. I will gladden them in my house of prayer. 
their elevation offerings, their feast offerings, will find favor on my altar. For my house will be called a house of prayer for all people. That's just straight out of the tour, guys. I'm not making it up. Hmm. The, the word of my Lord, Hashem Elohim, who gathers the disperse of Israel, I shall gather him even more than those already gathered to it. That is a huge gear piece. And I'm telling you, that's why I say, don't tell me what Gary is if you can't tell me what a Jew is, because God just explained how he's going to do it. He's going to bring it all in. So that takes us to Daniel. So if you'll turn to Daniel, Ravali says, here's the secret of the matter. Daniel chapter 7. There is two ways for the for the for the for the uh, people of the nations. Okay, here's the first way. Daniel seven, verse nine. And I watched as thrones were set up, and the ancient of days sat. Who's the ancient of days? A recon pin. And his garment was white as snow, and his hair was was. Like clean wool. Stone was fiery flames and its wheels blazing fire. A stream of fire was flowing from it, and thousands upon thousands were serving him, and midreds upon midreds were standing before him, and judgment were set, and the books were open. What day are the books open? Rosh Hashanah. All right? So, Here's here's how here's how all the nations come before they say they say that's ancient of Jesus Jesus but let it be Jesus 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 it's Jesus 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 let it be because they're standing in the river Dinar the river of fire let it be okay because judgment is at hand and that's the fire river but then he goes on in verse thirteen it says and I was watching in night visions and behold with the clouds of heaven the clouds of heaven are called the Gering by Rob Volley. The clouds of heaven, like a man came and came up to the Ancient of Days, and they were brought before him. And he was given dominion, honor, and kingship so that all people, nations, languages would serve him. His dominion could be everlasting dominion that would never pass, and his kingship would never be destroyed. That has nothing to do with Jews. That's all Garim. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the rapture that the Garim will be taken up to him. Now, that's 4D taken up, right? Mm -hmm. It's not leaving here and going there. has nothing to do with that. But the soul of the non-Jew understands that there is this thing called a rapture, right? They all believe in it. Some are post, some are pre, some are whatever. But... It's, it's something that the that those of the nations, the Gerim, have an innate sense that that's going to happen. Why? Because all Gerim usually come from out of the church at some point, out of, out of the nations, out of the 70 nations. So not all of them fit in the river, in the Na'ar Dinur, the river of fire. And these will be the dust of, under the feet, those that are that are burned are the dust under the feet of the tzaddikim. So what did they do on, what did all the Catholics, what did Edom and what did Esau do on Mardi Gras this past week? They put the ash on their forehead. They put the, mm. or uh, Ash Wednesday, right? Yeah, they, they put the ash, ash on their forehead. Why? Because their soul knows they're going to be standing in the river Dinar. Mm. Because they're going to be obliterated. So let's turn to Isaiah 66. If you have a Torah in front of you. <clears throat> the last verse here. The last two verses. And it shall be that every new moon and on every Sabbath all mankind will come and prostrate before me, says Hashem. And they will go out and see the corpses of the men who rebelled against me for their decay will not cease and their fire will not be extinguished and they will lie in the disgrace before all mankind. This is the klipa of the klipa. All right. So, how do we take that that seems like it's everlasting and put it into where Rob Valley says it's not everlasting? <coughs> because this is the klipa, mm -hmm. not the not the not the 
not the holy neat soap spark. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is a completely different thing. So, Christianity is literally the virus that had got that got hacked. The virus itself got hacked, and now it's got them. A votozoa, a votozoa alien worship is is identifying God in its inverted state. All right, all right. So remember, I gave you the pro the 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 prolapse, the inversion, the inversion of the face, the inversion of the face. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here but God, right? So as soon as you say that's God, mm -hmm. Jesus is God, this is God, that's God. As soon as you say that, all you're doing is seeing a piece of God's in, inverted face and identifying it. That's called a votozoa or alien worship. You, you, you can't do that. Everything, everything is God. What's, what's not God? So until you can define for me what Jew is, what Israel is, what God is, don't tell me what I am. Because I am not what you think I am. You know? Because until you until you can tell me what God is, then 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 don't tell me what a Gerto Shav is. Now, a, this is this is alienated worship. It is not God, because that's not just God. It's not God at all. But why does God care if you worship anything other than other than him? He's not threatened by it. Right? He's not threatened by anything. It's because you are messing with the higher geometry, the sacred geometry of Adam Kadmon, of the inversion of Adam Kadmon, of the Or and Adam Harishon and Atik, and Arik, all the way in Israel, and all the way down to 70 nations. You're, you're, you're trying to change the order. And if you're trying to change the order of what God is here, you are putting what the second commandment calls, putting something on my face. You shall not put anything on my face. Because what you're doing in 3D, 4D, it's happening in 4D. You see? So that's why it's such a, a votozoa, a, you know, alien worship. He says, he says, um, the mistake of their sages, we're going to call them uh, <coughs> preachers. The mistake, the mistake of the sages of the nation, it's all based on sheker. It's all based on lie. Because they are on the outside of falsehood anyway. They're already inverted, is what he's saying. By definition, which is the actual truth about Yeshu Hanotri, he's already inverted on the outside. Hashem doesn't dwell at all with his creatures through anger or hatred, or, but through tikkun. So the fact that theirs is based upon the the Testament Old Testament God is mean and torturous and the New Testament God is grace and mercy and peace and love, God only deals in tikkun. He did the whole made the whole world for tikkun. It is impossible in a sea not to sin. Because it is the place of tikkun. In other words, in other words, if I have a factory and my factory makes broken glass, shards of glass, and my your job, Russell, is to go in that factory every day and put shards of glass together and make vases. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta pick up the pieces and put them back together mm -hmm. because it fell out at the fall, right? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna get cut? You work there. Yeah. Yeah, it's impossible for you not to get cut. If, and if I was, as, as an employer, if I told you, if you get cut, I'm firing you. You'll never work here again. I wouldn't have any employees, would I? That's the, that's the ludicrousy <coughs> of eternal damnation of hell. For the Torah says, God is good in all, 
and all his mercies are on all his acts. The word act there is asia. So why did he put us on this side? Why did he do it? Why is it a setup? Why do we call checkmate? We know what's going on. It's what Adam did. Adam goes, dude, you knock me out. I wake up, you know, there's somebody with my wife and now she's attached to me. Now, now I get it. You know, you know, it's just like being in this office. Somebody comes in with the flu. Everybody in the office gets the dead gum flu. You know, God, you made the flu. I didn't. So why are you mad at me for... Why did you put me where I catch the flu? Because God needs something. We call it does it is it does he need the mon? Is it the is it the generation of mon? Is he need does he need the fuel? See, when God is turning himself inside out, that is going he is he is creating the female so he is making hug. Okay? When God is making Hasidim and Guvarot, and Guvarot is where all of <clears throat> sin and pain and constriction is, correct? Mm -hmm. When he is doing that, he's doing that so he can have union. What happens when you have union? Zivuk. What happens when you have it really, really fast? Before long, you get to a point <coughs> where... You, where Things are going to happen and you can't stop. Right? Mm -hmm. When you can't stop and and it emits, that's called the world to come. He's doing it to himself. He can't stop. There's nothing here but God. Why do you think it's you? You see the problem? Mm -hmm. We think, oh, oh, we're sinning. Oh, it's nothing here but God. So if we look at it from his point of view, it looks completely different. Now, that doesn't mean go and sin like hell, you know, because you're trying to help him fix himself because you are him helping him fix himself. Mm -hmm. You know, a fractal of him. So the more you help him fix himself, the faster he gets himself to where he needs to go. He set it up to where we, could, we can all be a part of building something that's new, that's so outside of God, because if he knew what it was, it wouldn't be new. Therefore, he has to turn his face away, which is called Purim. Make sense? Yeah. So what is this? What's the um, connection with the inside out and the Zivug and all this stuff with Tinsu? It is. It is. That, that's a, what, what you're explaining is Tinsu? I'm, I'm explaining Tinsu, but I'm explaining it from a, instead of a contraction, mm -hmm. pulling something from the inside on the outside. Mm -hmm. Same thing. What what did he do? He put he put uh, Adam asleep and he took Eve from the from inside, mm -hmm. right? Which so let's he has the name Ma, which is uh, you know uh, the light of Ma. So he t so what does he do? He separates the Havaya from Hava, mm -hmm. so the twenty six from the nineteen. He pulls that out. Why does he pull it out? So he can put them back together and create something completely new. But guess what? He had to make it. And then he had to put them, he had to make it in a laboratory where, where it was in a concealed environment, hermetically sealed environment. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Somebody left the window open and the lab tech walked in and everybody's got the flu. You see? But he had to do it because without the flu, it's the flu that made it work. It's the knockoff that makes the whole thing work. Because that is, that's, that's itself coming back through itself. Or it's what, turning itself inside out. Yeah. What's the opposite of Mashiach? Nakash. You see? It's 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 the same but different. So, re regarding the saints of the nations of the world, these are the, um, what are they called? Cardinals. Edom. <coughs> Cardinals. Regarding the saints of the nations, in Hebrew it is Kadoshim. <coughs> they are called this because through their actions they ascend to the Mohin of the Klippa, to the head of the Klippa. Just as Kadusha depends upon Mohin, 
on the side of holy, so likewise is the way of the side of impurity. But they are closer to Kedusha. They all have their other, that, that they're, they're closer to Kedusha than all their other people. However, a simple Jew is greater than all of them without a doubt. It's a secret formula. Without the Sitra Akra, uh, uh, the secret formula, what the Sitra Akra makes as a crown for his head, Kedusha makes as a sandal for his feet. Let the one that understands, understand. See? So, what some person's ceiling is is another person's floor. All right? So, what ha the, there's a front side, so God has to make a back side. There's a man that has to be a woman, whatever. Day, night, whatever you want to do. This side has to be on the, on the side of impurity. Well, there has, to be, there has to be a top and there has to be a bottom. Mm -hmm. So, he's just going through all the levels and explaining how that scenario works. Just like over here. You have Jew, you have you have the Gare, you have Israel, you have the Levite, and you have the Cohen. It it all has a it all has a, a deal. Now, King David says inform me or make known inform me of my end and my measurements of my life. And where, where we're going here with this is one person's floor is another person's ceiling. Yeah. One person's ceiling is another person's floor. So King David knows this formula. So he says, inform me of my end and the measurements of my life. Now, on the Peshat, we think of it as when am I going to die and how long am I going to live? Or, you know, how am I going to die and when am I going to live? But that's not the formula. The formula is actually, show me my edge. Where, where is the edge? Right? David's wanting to know a four dimension. It's a 4D question. Because he has two aspects, aspects of himself. One aspect is Rachel, and one as aspect is Leah. For this is the secret of a spine. This is the speak, secret of the staff, the serpent. Because Rachel is the feet and Leah is the head. David is, every man, every man is both made up of a floor and a ceiling. Every man has a Rachel and every land, man has a Leah. He has an edge, he has an end, and he has a life. Rachel is the Malchut, and Leah is the head or the, the, or the Messiah bin David portion. He's the top from Judah. David is looking at the wisdom of these, of these two aspects. This is why he says, make it known to me, Da'at. And Da'at is Leah. This is the secret of the two female Leviathans. Jesus is the Yesod Jesus is the Yesod of Adam Metatron turned inside out. Leah is the Daat turned inside out and Rachel is Adam's Yesod turned inside out. That is why Rachel was his favorite. These two aspects also happen on the back side with Yeshu Hanotri. He has two women. But we don't know which one you want to put where. Because both of them are named Miriam. Both of them are named Mary. His mother is named Mary or Miriam. And the prostitute, his whore, is named Mary or Miriam, Mary Magdalene. But it's so ambiguous where you want to put them because it's a formula. It's a Leah and a Rachel. Where do we see this? Where, where, where else do we see this? Solomon. 
who was in there with him the whole time. Bathsheba and Bithia. Mm-hmm. Rachel and Leah. Mm-hmm. The higher and lower. The two tales of the Leviathan, of the, of the female Metatron. Mm-hmm. Yeshu Hanotri has them as well. He has to. Both of these women are therefore the... Uh, and so, and then we, we circle back to Rachel and Leah. Both of these women are therefore the energy, and they're hidden inside of Zah. Where do we see this in the garden? Rachel and, I mean, uh, Eve and Lilith. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because the circuit of the root is inside Zeron Pin. And now the Nukva, which is Hava, which is 19, or the Milui, which, which means, Milui means the inside cavity. This is why Rachel is called flesh of my flesh. And and uh, Leah was bone of my bone. So when Adam says bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, he's putting, that's why the top's called the loose bone and the Yisod's made of flesh. You follow me going there? All right. Even through the second Eve, which is Rachel, the first is Leah. That became Lilith. And when these two sisters are separated, the lower one gets raped. No one rapes Lilith. Which is why Yeshua's lover was a prostitute. And her mother was had union with the Roman. Because that's something Lilith does. Which is, yeah, right, you see, right, right, which right. is the two women of the backside. See where he's going with that? Mm-hmm. It's, it's unbelievable. This is why his feet were washed and not his head. Mm-hmm. Which is, clears up that whole matter. One person's... He's, he's the bottom. He's the top of the bottom, so to speak. This is... this is Because all of this is the, at the feet of Kedusha. It is just getting turned inside out. If we use the term backside or other side, it almost makes us lose the concept. It is all true. Everything about Christianity is true. It is just turned inside out. It's Kedusha turned inside out. Regarding the crucified one, we're kind of going a little long here. Regarding the crucified one from Notri, that Esau chose for them and took upon themselves as their God. We have already written it because, but in but because of their arrogance that Hashem brought them to to draw uh, down to a place of filth, <coughs> and there is nothing like it. Because there is no greater impurity than that of a dead person. Furthermore, these fools carry their wooden idols on their shoulders. Isaiah 45.20. Is that, is that right? Did I, write, did I write that right? Hold on. Oh, I got it on my... Um, I don't think I don't think that's right. Oh man. Where is that? Is it forty five? I have a <coughs> I have a meme made of it. Um what is it here? Um, let me see. Let me get my phone here. Hold on, guys. I'm going to, uh, all right. Let me get this back up here. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. 
Isaiah 45, 20. Gather yourselves, come and approach together, O survivors of the nations who do not know, who carry about their wooden graven images and pray to a God who cannot save. What's he? So back in Rome, what they used to do is they used to put a cross on their shoulder and they used to carry it down the road. Mm-hmm. Y'all ever seen that? Mm-hmm. See it all the time. There it is. So he's saying... He's saying these fools carry their wooden idols on their shoulders. The fools who who are carrying their wooden idols on their shoulders do not know it is literally the tree of death. Because, uh, Because the curse of God is hung on a tree. Deuteronomy 21. Which is Gematria. 446, which is the same as death. <clears throat> because this is the tree of death. Because the evil of Samael and Lilith and his Nukva is that they are included in the no tree. Because it is that mamzer that is made from the klepa, the poison of God, and, it cor- and its corresponding female. And it is garmented and clothed by the mamzer because his mother was a whore. This klepa overpowers them and causes them to go astray. However, when Hashem wants to rectify the world, the slave and the slave girl, the evid and the shifka <coughs> will be removed and cut off. And at that moment, He will cause to enter into the mistaken ones a spark of the matron, the Shekhinah. And at that time, this spark, which is Gematria 385, this Sepha, it's the the same word as this Sepha is the lips. This lips will be the pure language. And they will... And they will abandon their gods of silver and gold and recognize the truth. Zephaniah. If you will, turn to Zephaniah 3. Uh, Y'all going to like this one. For then I will change. I I will invert... He's going to, this word is not change, this word is invert mm. the nations to speak a pure language. Do y'all remember what the pure language is? It's Hebrew, obviously. But what is called the pure language according to Rav Vali, the Gare? So how do we know we're next to Kedusha? He's writing this over 300 years ago. Mm-hmm. He says all these Christians, which we were all these people doing all this stuff, when he's ready to rectify the world, he is going to remove the slave and the slave girl. He is going to cut that off. And he's going to place a spark of Shekhinah in them. When he does it, they will abandon Christianity, the gods of silver and gold, and recognize the truth. This is the sword of and it is sufficient for one for the one that understands. This is the this is Zephaniah three nine, the Barura of the Shekhinah, from the shoulders of death they're carrying, mm-hmm. to the shoulders of truth, and a clarified pure language, which is the Torah. <coughs> this lip, this lip is also means the edge where Jacob was talking. Uh, David was talking about. Show me my edge. Okay? So how do we know God's fiction to rectify the world? All us Christians are going to Torah. We're, we're the edge. We're the lip. So on the Torahs, you know, here's the, the Torital tube. This is the edge, the lip, sand off on. It's fixing to go in. When it goes in, that's the circumcision. That's cutting all the way through. Mm-hmm. Everything is one. It's one inside there. It's a cod. Right? Is that a Gertzedek or a Jew or a Noahide or whatever? No, it, you know, yeah. you can't tell me. All right?
This is from the Malbin. Although the nations worship God, they do not do it in a pure language, which causes them not to understand and make mistranslations. It is only through the Hebrew that the shame Habayah is known. So it's not that the Christians don't worship God, the God of Israel, mm -hmm. but they get everything wrong because language. Mm -hmm. Barbanel says, Gog and Magog, that at that moment, they will call out to God in the language that they spoke before the, the Tower of Babel. All right? So we're there. We, 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 can't be, we can't be more there. Everything is happening, driving Jews back over there. Non-Jewish non uh, righteous Gentiles are doing Torah, you know, keeping Shabbat, like <coughs> Isaiah 56 says to do, um, et cetera, et cetera. And we're doing Purim this week, you know, so mm -hmm. um, it, it's all there, you know. Ravali says it. Barbanel says it. Malbim says it. Mm -hmm. I didn't make any of it up. Rabbi Baxt filled in the blanks. So the Torah is amazing. The sages are amazing. We'll see you next week with Perm. Adios. <laughs>